What is good YouTube? What's you here with a video on The Flash Season 4, Arrow Season 6, Supergirl Season 3 and Legends of Tomorrow Season 3. I do have a cold guys but I want to keep giving you content so if my voice sounds a bit strange that's why I try my best to edit it so you can't really notice but I'm sorry if my voice sounds a bit off. So the closer we get to the crossover the more images and details that are going to appear I will be covering so spoiler warning you've been warned I know you guys like these kind of videos so I'm going to bring them to you so the other day I brought to you the first look of Overgirl from the crisis on earth x crossover that we are getting but first guys I want to give a full disclaimer and full credit to Thamascura Bond yet again a twitter page is awesome check it out guys go and support that page so we get to see earth x green arrow or it could be prometheus we aren't quite clear who it is yet because on the crossover art there is two green hooded figures on the opposite side to oliver queen it was confirmed that prometheus will be in the crossover but they did say it wouldn't be Josh Sagara, but I never believe anything that they say. So it could be the Dark Archer, could be anyone. Now, I know Tommy Merlin, a.k.a. Colin Donnellan, was on set, but that doesn't mean it was him. He was only on set for one day, so I don't believe it's him. But one thing that is clear to me is these masks are not looking good at all. I'm really liking the costumes, guys, but the masks to me are looking awful. I don't really understand why, but there must be a reason why the masks are there. But I really am liking this concept of hero taking on villain on Earth X, Crisis on Earth X, which is going to be awesome. So we finally found out who Earth X The Flash is going to be. Who is Earth X the Flash? So in the anime series, someone's called Blitzen. In the cover art, we see him with the SS on his chest, which stands for the Secret Service within the place where they are. And he's going to be played by Tom Kavanagh. Now, this will be the first time we see Tom Kavanagh playing his speedster. I know what you're going to say. No, it's not. He was the Flash season one. No, he wasn't. He was playing. That was Ebar Thorne, so it was never Harrison Wells. or well, not properly. So I'm glad that they're not using the evil Barry Allen again because this would trigger some fans in thinking, oh, it's a Savitar thing yet again. And it would be really hard to manage this during a crossover because the crossover, they're working with four different shows. So it's going to be a little bit crazy. The easiest way for them to include a different Earth version of Harrison Wells would be to make the Flash from that Earth Johnny Quick. And it would be the easiest way to explain why that Earth looks like Harrison Wells. And he looks like the reverse Flash, but he isn't the reverse Flash. So also within these images, we see lots of other stuff. We see White Canary is rocking a new costume next to the Flash. Just appears to be brighter, which is pretty awesome. It's unclear when she gets a new costume, but seeing as literally every new character on Arrow has got a new costume, it's, it's a good assumption that a lot of people will be getting new costumes. We also see that Captain Cold is back. He's rocking an, a more comic book accuracy, accurate costume, which looks pretty awesome. Really, I'm digging all these new images. So, guys, if you could hit that like button to let me know that you like me doing these kind of videos. I did give a spoiler warning, so don't say that I ruined the crossover for you. <laughs> Full credit to Thermoscora Bond. It yeah, awesome images that they're bringing to us. Sorry about the cold, guys. I hope this doesn't sound that bad. But I want to keep content coming out, even though I've got a cold at the moment. I will be doing my review for episode two of The Flash Mixed Signals tomorrow. It'll be up tomorrow. Overall, it was a good episode. It wasn't great. It wasn't funny. I think they tried too hard to make it funny. Um, it was quite predictable. The new suit... He's going to have some, I think, some tweet downs because it was nearly the downfall of the episode. And we got a real nice stinker kind of tease at the end. Um, personally, I think these new metahumans were made during the Speed Force Storm, as we found one of them in this episode. And then I think there's 12 in total. So he's looking for the other ones. So he's going to form some kind of metahuman army, potentially. 
but I don't believe he wants to kill Barry Allen, so I don't know why he wants to find all the other metahumans. So I'm really interested in these post credit scenes, The Thinker. When is The Thinker actually going to appear in the episode? Because at the moment, he's not actually appeared in an actual episode. It's just been in post credit scenes. So guys, I will be doing my kind of more in-depth review for episode two and trailer breakdown for episode three tomorrow it's just a scheduling issue i'm so nice guys so if you could please like subscribe and comment that would be awesome guys appreciate all the support i get hit that bell button to join the notification squad aka team more stew and i will catch you in another video guys very soon catch you later